Bad build, day one. <laughs> yeah, it's a little overwhelming when you stand there and go, that's a lot of stuff to do. It is. We got our very first package for the van right here. It's not Christmas pistol. <laughs> She's ever so helpful. It's a box. So this is <clears throat> Noiko Sound Deadening Mat. So what this is going to do, what we're going to do with it, once we figure out how, um, it's going to go on all these panels. Basically, you do the whole van in it, and it deadens the sound. You see how loud it is in there right now? Maybe it'll help with the echo too. Oh, that's interesting looking stuff. Yeah, so you don't cover the van with it. No. We'll probably cover the wheel walls pretty good, but you just put sections. Who's that? Knock, knock. <laughs> There's the man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, we're get, getting ready to get get, get to work, we're man. We're just standing here going, band build day one. This is like, uh, I can't even imagine being more overwhelmed right now. Yeah. This is where you just have to look at, you have to look at, Baby steps. Baby what steps. can we do today? What can we do tomorrow? I start looking about building drawers and wiring and insulation. Well, that's George's expertise. Yeah, a year and a half, this thing will be working yeah. great. <laughs> but I'm fine. Why would you say that? <laughs> so, okay, questions with the Noiko. Um, you cut it. First, you prep the metal. We have to clean it. You, if you have the isopropyl alcohol. Okay. That would work. I have some other solvents we can use. It should be pretty clean, but yeah. We have some stuff in the van I'm sure we could use. I'm and sure then you just cut little pieces. Now, we're not going to cut the exact size for each panel, right? We just are no. cutting a little piece to go in the center. Here's, you know, so this, this one sheet, I would probably just take one, one third of the sheet okay. and put it right there. Yep. Maybe you want to do two. This this one third would fit in there nicely. Yep. That's really all you have to do. Now I would I would put some in these higher ridges. Okay. But not too much because we want the airflow. Or actually, we're coming down below this, so put them on these, and then we'll maintain our airflow because we're going to come down off of this. Okay. We're still putting insulation in here. Yes. But just a few. Like whenever you have scrap cuts. You can just repurpose that scrap okay. and put it right there. We want to do all the wheel walls? Uh, a spotty. Spotty. Because then we're going to wrap that with heavy mass vinyl oh. and thin slate. So we just put some big chunks around here and big chunk here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It won't be pretty. So yeah. I'm thinking we should do a divide and conquer where maybe you cut, I prep, you apply, I'll roll. How does that sound? Yeah? Whatever you want, baby. done we're getting the hang of it there's a learning curve to this stuff but I wanted to show you the kind of what it sounds like to give you an idea of why we're doing this now driving down the road it gets quite noisy so if you don't have it You're all up. and then if you have it I mean this isn't a scientific test by any means but that was scientific <laughs> this is science man so it does make a huge difference 
Uh, yeah. Our current van does not have this. No. And it can get quite noisy, so yeah, it's just our very first step. We're taking our first step. You betcha, Rosie. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> She's riveting this stuff on. <laughs> We are getting ready for day two. I'm probably not gonna keep track of every single day. It's just here in the beginning, I'm really excited. <laughs> How do you think it went? Are you? Good, good. We've got a lot to do, a lot to learn. Yeah. A lot of planning, a lot of a lot. It's a lot, a lot. It's been a long time since I put in an honest day's work and really yesterday was only, what, four hours or something at that. But. It was work, a little bit, so... <laughs> yeah, we, we did a lot, though. Well, of course, she used to really be into the gym before we hit the road a couple years ago, and she was really into lifting weights and strong, and she still is, but yesterday morning was our first day back in a gym doing a real workout. Yeah. And then we worked... We may have overdid it a little, so... She, she's sore, but... Uh, sore's a good thing. I'm not incapacitated. There's a difference. <laughs> I'm close, but not quite. I'm excited. Is it your anxiety? Because I know before we got it, here, you were getting a little anxious. I it, think we both were. It's strange. It comes and goes. It's like this. It's so overwhelming when you when you start thinking of everything that has to be done, the framework and electronics and. There's a lot of minutia to yes. tiny little finishing things. Yeah, you're building a tiny house in a car and it's like ugh. it's like it's, it's I, but then when we get into the project like yesterday I was like this is a, this is gonna be awesome it's fun and, and you know George is a great guy to work with and yeah you know it's nice to have someone with his skills and ability and knowledge knowledge and building and this is where I'm good if somebody tells me and shows me how to do something I'll get it done I'm like full speed ahead unstoppable I'm not good planning I can make a decision yeah. quickly. She's a good hard worker. But sometimes <clears throat> maybe not, maybe too quickly. Yeah. And then we're having a, you know, we can't do everything in a really fast order that we want to because we're going to be using, is it microfiber? Thinsulate. Oh, our AC kicked on. It's hot here. Um, a Thinsulate type insulation and it's not going to be here for like a week. Yeah, so there's a lot of other prep yeah. things that we could do, and honestly, there's some things to this van that we need to do to prep it, to sell it, you know? Yep, and George is still wrapping up on his project, so he's kind of splitting his time, and so it's going to be uh, slow at first, and I think within, you know, sometime in a few weeks down the road, I think it's going to pick up steam. I think we have a good grasp on where yeah. we're headed, and... We're going to go... Um, work on some stuff today and we're gonna start we took we put a few cardboard yeah structure in there to kind of get an idea but today we're gonna probably do more hammer We've down got, the measurements yeah George has a cardboard cutouts with the exact size of the big batteries and the inverter and the, all the stuff that we're gonna have to find places to install things so we're gonna work on trying to finalize that in the next few days and yeah get parts ordered, get yeah. vents ordered, talk about window. There's just so many decisions to make and Did products. Did I mention hot and humid here? It is, but luckily we can plug in here, so it we've been doing that. Real. There's no more running outside for me unless I get up early, because we've been walking the dog for an hour every morning at like at 8 to 9 o'clock. Yeah. And it's it's hot. It is very We are not acclimated. No, so it'll be interesting to see how this film, like this series goes filming, because this is not really our specialty, the, the style of filming. Yeah, it's interesting because people that, that follow us, we've been just on this roaming filming adventures, and this is a completely different adventure, but... We'll see how it evolves. Trust us, we're going to hit the road. 
I'm thinking at least every week we gotta go Maybe. do some stuff, explore some of this area. I gotta go to Cape May, and we gotta go to Point Pleasant, and we gotta, gotta go hit some campgrounds. I'm gonna be tired. You can nap in a lawn chair in a campground. <laughs> I'll film Irene napping. I might do just that. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. So shall we hit day two? Yeah, bear with us. We're gonna see where this thing goes yeah. and how we do it. It might be a bumpy ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be great. All right, carry on. Carry on.